Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial and today we want to create a beautiful sea scene. Let's jump right in. So here we are in a fresh blender scene and yeah, our Rust is already there and we want to use here this street lamp. Um, I will put a link into the description for this street lamp. So let's hide the street lamp for now and we want to use here this cube. Uh, as a path so let's change here the dimensions to 3 by 50 by 0.2 <clears throat> and we want to put this a little bit down to minus 0.08 it fits a little bit better and now we want to create plane which will be uh, the water here so let's change this here yeah let's uh, change the dimension here as well to 80 to 80 by 60 and I want to push this a little bit down to minus point uh, two five. So that looks a little bit better and now we can enable here the street lamps let's push the street lamp a little bit to the side to minus one in the X and minus 10 in the Y now we can duplicate this one shift and d and uh, push this uh, 10 meters in the y-axis to zero again to 10 and to 20. yeah that is uh, basically our scene here for today let's uh, put this here clean up the scene uh, street lamps Okay, and now we can um, go ahead and change the position of our camera. So let's uh, go ahead with a zero minus 18.5.75. Let's rotate this to 90 degrees, zero and zero. And we want to go into the uh, camera settings here and leave the focal length like it is, but uh, change the camera shift to 0.14. And now we can go ahead uh, to some shading. But first of all, I want to um, yeah, create or yeah, create the environment so we can see a little bit more the uh, effects on the textures and so on. Uh, yeah, let's go here into the shading and into the rendering. And we want to go here into the world. And now we can see that we have here uh, this color set up. For the environment we want to use an HDRI so we have to search for an environment texture and yeah we can open here an HDRI which is from HDRI Haven I like to use here the sky is on fire and we can put this one here into the color channel and maybe let's go here into the EV settings and enable Amy inclusion bloom and screen space reflections to have a little bit more control over the HDRI now we can adhere with the node wrangler tool and texture setup so let's press add texture setup you can or you can select this one and press ctrl and t uh, if you don't have the node wrangler plugin go to edit preferences or search in the add-ons for node wrangler and let's go now here and change uh, the rotation now so uh, i want to go here with minus 159 and it's a little bit bright here now so what we can do is we can go here now into the strength and change this to 0.1 and that looks a little bit better here for this one Okay, now we can go into the shading of the other stuff. Let's select here our way or path and let's go into the objects and create a new material. And this one will be a concrete material. And again, let's select this one and we can go here into the node wrangler setup and add a principle setup and let's select here now our concrete textures yeah basically we can leave everything like it is but we have to change the scale here to 4 by 40 
and maybe let's make a little bit more wet so we are on on the seaside here and yeah i think uh, that would be cool so let's add here a ramp into the roughness and push the black slider a little bit here into the center and now you can see that we have a little bit more reflection here going on okay that's cool for this one let's add here now the material for the water and that's a really easy one so um let's put the base color to black and the roughness down so we have a cool reflection going on now let's search here for a normal map and i want to use a noise texture let's bring this together uh, color to color and normal to normal the, the one thing which we have to change now is uh, the scale here let's go with 150 and i want to put down a little bit the strength of the normal map to 0.3 yeah that's basically here our water and yeah let's uh, go ahead and add some depth and some lights and that's it let's bring in here a new cube which will be the fork and i want to change the dimensions to 50 by 80 by 0 0.2 it's a really thin fog which will be on the uh, on the floor or on the water floor and i want to push this back to minus 14 and now we can go into the shading add a new material which will be the fog let's delete the principal bsdf and search for a volumetric scatter and i want to pipe this here into the volume and bring this a little bit down to something grayish here and we can see that we get here this foggy line here and I want to change the density to 0.4 and increase the anisotropy to 0.9. Now it's disappeared, but that's uh, okay because now we want to change here this light to a sunlight. And that will bring now back our fog visible. <laughs> so uh, let's go here with uh, color, uh, which is here this hex code. And I want to change this to one in the power or in the strength. Yeah, let's leave everything like it is, uh, except the angle, because I want to put down the angle. If the number of the angle is lower, the shadow will be sharper. So and I want to have some really sharp shadows. So I put down the angle to <laughs> zero now. And let's change here the rotation of uh, this one to minus 85 to 11 to 3 and now we can see here this thin fog line uh, on the horizon so i think that's really cool here that's it here for the sunlight and let's add another light to have a little bit more um yeah realistic lightning here on the on the side here for the lamps and stuff like that so let's uh, duplicate here our sunlight so we have the same settings going on shift and d but i want to change this to a point light and bring the power a little bit down to fifty thousand. <laughs> and then let's let's change now the volume to zero because i don't want to um have the light visible in the fog and change the radius down to zero as well we don't need any shadows because uh, the only shadow should come from the sun and now let's change this one to minus 2 by 25 by 2.8 and now we have um, some kind of rim lights here in our lights in our street lamps and we can fake a little bit more the the sundown or the sun sunrise and um, we have some cool reflections going on here you can change this by the way if you are 
playing here with the ramp of the concrete and yeah that's um that's the scene here and yeah for the rendering i want to put up the samples to 128 and we can go to the color management and change the look to my contrast and that's our scene for today that was this tutorial and if you want to see more stuff like that check out and follow my youtube channel and if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye